Goodfellow and Company Beard Oil. I have number three here. Quick hitter for the guys that are in the store that wanna get just a real quick answer. Is this good for my beard or not? This is actually pretty good. I was really surprised, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to hate this stuff, and I know that's silly, it's probably biased, thinking like, stuff in stores is bad, stuff that we love online is good, but this was not bad at all. And this is just gonna be a quick rundown for you guys today. If you're in the store and you're on the fence, go ahead and purchase it, come back, subscribe to the channel, watch the rest of the video when you get home so you're not wasting your data in the store there. But for everybody else, welcome. My name is Dan C. Bearded, and I love beard stuff, especially beard oil. And I snagged this probably six months ago with my wife. We were in the store and I grabbed it. I've been working on a lot of like drugstore oil videos and covering some of the biggest names. And then the reviews started pouring in. I just didn't have a lot of time to get to it. And I finally have a chance to get to this and I've used it occasionally over the course of those six months. And I have it in beard today. And I'm gonna give you guys all the details that I think you should know. First thing is, this is Goodfellow and Company, but essentially it is the Target brand. Now they make Goodfellow shirts. I have pants from them. I got a bunch of things. It's like kind of a budget cost, but a pretty good product from everything that I have tried. So this one ounce beard oil comes in the box and it is $7.99 regularly. And it is on sale often for down to like five, six bucks for one ounce. So you take a look at the box here. We'll go over the ingredients in a second. But you pull it out, really nice look here. You got the traditional dropper top. It's got a nice little label on there, oil proof, and it has the frosted glass bottle. Super cool. Now again, I, I have not extensively worn this. I wore it a couple times over the period of six months and I wore it today. And my biggest takeaway from it is it is a quality oil. It is long lasting with the scent, which really surprised me. And it is on the thicker side. It is at about the cusp of my comfort level when it comes to thickness. And that's because of the ingredients. I'll read them here real quick for you guys. This has uh, sweet almond oil, castor oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, fragrance, and then tocopherol, which is vitamin E. They have a different spelling of tocopherol on here, so either I didn't know that version or they just have a typo on that one. But it's definitely a thicker oil. This dropper top, dropper top fills up all the way up here. You can see the kind of viscosity on that. So you may want to consider cutting it with an unscented lighter oil if you're not really into those thick oils. But that really caught me by surprise because oftentimes in the stores, the in-store brands are the thinnest oils you've ever had. This one has a little body to it with some really good quality carriers. Now the scent I have is Moroccan mint and cedar. Now, again, I did not want to like this. And just before filming, Sam walks by and goes, ooh, you smell nice. I'm like, dang it, Target strikes again and it's a really good one. For me, it is a nice little mint. That cedar wood almost gives it a kind of chocolateness to it. I know that's kind of strange, but it does. And then there's like some coconut in there. And I had read, I believe it was online, that it said there was some coconut and some other things in there. And uh, it has a nice little musk finish. So it almost has some little areas over there from tropical to fresh, and then a little dab of cologne in there. So it does a good job. $7.99. Quality ingredients, everything in here I would recommend. Has a good feel and beard. Obviously it styles, styles well. I put in some heat in the beard today and it's been looking on point. So I don't have anything bad to say about this. It's not the most extraordinary thing I've ever had, but it's definitely on the better side of average, especially when you're looking into stores. So I don't know what their current stock is. I looked online, the Flint Target, which is the closest to us, they had three in stock. So I don't know if this is something that they are continuing to go with or if it's something they're phasing out. If you guys know anything about this oil, please drop it down in the comments below. And please, if you have tried this, let us know your thoughts. What did you think about the scent, the viscosity, the feel, all of that information wrapped into a really nice bundle size price, which is pretty cool to see. So just a quick hitter today, guys. I really want to do more on covering those brands that are in store that you can find at your lo local drugstore, at Target, at Walmart, and really give the options out there for guys that are like, I don't really like to buy online. I want to get something that is cheap and that I can get right now. Well, I'd recommend this one. Give it a shot. Let me know if you have any questions or any thoughts. Thank you, guys. Dancy Bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.